If you guys want to add them, I can go grab them instead. <laughs> he said he needed a few minutes. I think you've seen a maturity growth. You know, there's just a, a different mindset he's had. He, he's really beginning to understand what's going to make him an effective player. Um, you know, he's building that consistency into his game that he's going to need to have at this level. And you know, there's there's still some work to do. We think in there, uh, but he's he's taken the right steps. And you know, I, I think the. The first few years in school were a little bit of a, a battle for him in, in finding that, and the injuries didn't help. But you know, a healthy year last year really bought into the role that they needed him to do, which was you know being a, a third line penalty kill guy and you know more of a shutdown. And he, he did a very good job and scored some timely goals as well. So, and then he came to Providence and and played really well for us. Um, stepped right in and you know showed his his ability to skate and. Uh, you know the attributes that are going to give him a chance to be a good NHL player. Disappointment, just I guess from a timer perspective, that uh, Lysel uh, couldn't be here and just get his feet wet with this kind of setting. It, that you just absolutely wanted him to be in there, no matter what they did. Yeah, you know he was disappointed. Um, quite honestly, like he wanted to be here. It's an opportunity for him to meet everybody and and be around. Um, but after talking through with him and stuff, it just makes more sense for him to bounce back and forth. It would mess up his summer way too much. You know, he's going to come in here after the World Junior, so August 20th or so. So he'll have a good almost month till till camp to, to spend around here and then. So yeah, disappointing, but you know, we're, we're dealing and kind of just going with the flow with a lot of these things. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's disappointing for some scouts to have to go to a World Junior in August, but it's, uh, it's kind of the way it goes. Uh, we're, we're very happy with the, the way he, he progressed as the year went on. Um, definitely an adjustment the first half of the year, mostly off ice, to be honest with you, living, being away from home, uh, new culture, all that. But he, he grew and grew, and then his playoff run, and you know, with the most important time of the year, he was playing his best hockey and really, really put that team on his back. Um, he's a great kid. Um, he, he's going to be a good player. Oh, I'm not going to evaluate a day that they do a bike test <laughs> and some of that. Uh, they all got through it. Um, they all uh, they all showed pretty well out there for for what they were doing. They did a good job in the in the room back there as well. So, you know, we're excited about those guys. Um, you know, our scouting staff has done a really good job of continuing to. You know, it's it's tough when you're not picking till 50 and 60 and, and whatnot. And they're they're doing a really good job of, of finding guys that we think uh, are going to be able to play. It's going to it's going to take some time, and we know that. And you know, we're, we're more than more than happy to be patient with them and, and continue to to work with them to get them where they where they need to go. I know it's been early, but with the new head coach, is there any new direction with player development, or anything? Oh, we haven't got that far yet. He's he just found his house and is settling it in himself. So he he, he was here this morning and um, checking it out quick. But uh, we're planning on going to dinner him and I on on Thursday and. Just talk through some stuff, but I've known Monty for a long time, so I, I've got a pretty good idea where he, where his where his head's going to go on some of that. But you know, we'll we'll go through that later in the week. Uh, I think he uh, got a good understanding of what the American League is. Um, you know, I think he came out on fire and thought it was going to be easy, and then you know, a little bit of a wake up of what it, what it really is at times. So, uh, I think what he's going to be skill, his skill in his brain is what, uh, what really stands out. Um, obviously, a very productive year at, at Ohio State, where you know he's really good on the power play, really good in offensive situations. You know, we're going to have to build a little more of the the overall game in, into him. He, he's still pretty young, obviously, only the one year at school. Um, and just adjusting, you know, there's still a, a slight language barrier at times. He's not completely always understanding everything we're, we're talking about, but 
he's working hard on that and you know he's another guy that's going to spend some time out here this this summer which will really help him adjust and you know acclimate to what his new teammates and coaches and, and what we're trying to do I think it varies kid to kid. Uh, in his case, uh, I think it's, you know, I don't think we can underestimate how difficult that is. Um, you know, obviously he's been here for a little while playing in Youngstown and then at school, but professional life's a, a whole different. You got a whole lot of free time on your hands uh, to fill, and I, I think that's the biggest adjustment those kids have. You know, you go from a really structured system to dealing with, you know, you're off the ice by noon, and you, what do I do with myself the rest of the day? So, you know, that's that's some of the stuff we work on them with. Uh, you know, finding good, healthy ho hobbies, and you know, we really encourage these guys to make sure they're having a roommate and you know different things. We because that is that is part of it. Um, I did not see him this year. Um, Schedule did not hit right, and our amateur guys are the ones that saw him most this year. I watched him on video quite a bit, but I did not see him live. What's the feeling of, of his development? Good. He had a good year. Like he's offensively very productive. Um, you know, he's another guy that BC. I mean, we've had a lot of conversations on building some of the the secondary parts of his game just a little bit. But he's gonna he's gonna create offense. He's got good vision sense. Um, you know, obviously he's gonna a little bit on the undersized from a from a pro standpoint to a bit. That's probably why he slid in the draft. But extremely talented player. Anything else? Any uh, anybody in particular stand out to you? Just strength gains, skating, just any area where you say, "Wow, this guy looks like he's putting some work." I haven't looked at the testing results yet. Um, They'll give them to us here, probably here pretty soon. They were just putting everything together, so we'll know more about that next week. And in general, everyone, quick reports where everyone came in in a good shape, which is which is good. Obviously, uh, Mason Lower Eye injury we knew about, and Dustin McFall injury we knew about, so nothing, no surprises. So, and those guys won't be. They will not be on the ice. They neither will be on the ice. They're not cleared. So, anything else? All right.